The first thing is that you don't look like a scorpion when trying to, to do this shot. Many people, uh, especially if you are a bit late in badminton, start like holding the rack like this, and when they are up here, they are very, very bent up here in, in the hand, and it actually looks quite like a scorpion. So I call it scorpion technique. And you don't want to do that because when you do the scorpion technique, then you're going to do this kind of whiplash with your wrist when trying to hit this shot. So you don't want to do this wrist shot, but you want to, to rotate in your forearm when trying to do the shot. When you're rotating, you also have much more variations and you're able to do different things when playing. But be aware of this scorpion technique. So not like this. But like this. Number two is that you don't want your, your back or your spine to be crushed when doing a shot. And what I mean is when, when some times the, the shuttle is coming over your head and just before you're going to hit the shuttle, your uh, ragged arm drops and do like this. So if you can imagine how your, your spine is built up with all of these layers all the way down, the bottom will kind of be uh, squeezed together and it's actually quite demanding for a spine to keep uh, that pressure. So for example, if you are on the back here and then you go down like this, you can kind of imagine how it looks like in this side of your spine, how it will actually be squeezed together. So you want not your uh, right arm to drop like this before you hit, but you want it to stay up tight, kind of feel like you're pushing your, your ribs out and your chin, put it a bit up so you're out here. Um, uh, and creating a lot of space for yourself and not down here because it is a, 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 your posture around your back is going to be uh, uh, wrong and it's quite demanding for your back and that's also why some people tend to get uh, uh, back pain and that's actually because when they're doing overhead shots it's a wrong thing so you want to be up here not like this. And if I show the first one, it will be something like this, going down and hitting. What you want to do is obviously arm up here, hit like that. That's where we get some power and we also get much more height on our shots, so that's what we want. The other thing is that we don't want to be too narrow in our stance. That means we are not going to do this W or double Y when, when hitting. Some players, is, 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 is when it comes falls down our head, we do like this. It's very, very narrow. Uh, the angles here is all too sharp to, to be able to, to do something. Yes, again, get out, create some space for yourself. Again, put out your, your ribs and put out your chin. So really out here and being able to, to take some space for yourself when doing this. It also helps your swing, so your swing will be much bigger and much more able to create some, some power, but in here it will be much more, uh, I, I don't know what, what this is, but you don't get so much power, but at least you look stupid. So make the other thing work for you and not this narrow thing, but get out here and take some space. That is also why some people lose a lot of energy when hitting their shots. So not like this, but much more like this. The next thing I want to talk about is how tightening up in is how tight you are in your muscles. Some people is, is kind of think they are flexing when, when, when playing, but you really just need to be relaxed in order to create a lot of power. So if, if you are jumping around on the court and you're really tightening up all the time, 
then it will be difficult for you to create even more power because what gives you the power is the difference be between being relaxed and being tightened up when hitting. The bigger the gap are, the, the easier it will be to, to relax or to, to do a powerful shot. So that means if I'm doing a shot up here and then I really need to relax and control my breath before hitting, really look relaxed here and not tightening up but relaxed because then I'm able to tighten up in the last second and being able to do some powerful shots. So really control your breath or control your breath when going around on the court and then really when you're going to hit, hit it with all the energy you can and then relax upward again. That is an excellent drill, just moving around on the court, feeling very, very relaxed, but every time you are going to hit the shot, then you're tightening up, you're able to control the shot, and you're able to create some power. So not like this. Really tighten, but more relaxed. Get much more out of the shot. The last thing is your way your elbow is going through the air. And that means when we're out here, many of us is, is, is taught that what we need to do is get our elbow forward. And the way we do that is, is like this. But that's actually quite wrong because we need to get it upwards as well. So when we're hitting, we're not hitting like this. That will be too much. We have as a too much just straight. We need to get the elbow up forward, up and forward before hitting. So not like this, but more like this, getting it upwards. And that's what will give you some extra energy when, when you're going to hit uh, basically any shots. So that's really important. So that means it's not like this when you're just dragging the elbow forward. maybe a bit down actually but you want your elbow to go, to go upwards so you go up before hitting so the last one is obviously the correct one but get the elbow up is also crucial and this was five uh, examples of why you might not generate any power when playing thanks for watching